Hi everyone, this is ETC3 Biochemistry. Here we are discussing fluorescent in situ hybridization, otherwise fish. So the question that you can get is either a case of translocation or a case of fusion gene. These are the questions asked and fish is a very pre frequently asked question in the previous years. What is the other name of fish? It is spectral karyotyping. This is the other name of fish. So in a simple way, if I am saying fish is a coloring of the chromosome with the unique fluorescent labels. And remember, this is, we are not taking the chromosome out of the cell. It is, it is in the place where it is actually. So that is why it is an in situ hybridization. So you can see in this picture. So if you get a picture like this, remember this is colored chromosome. So this is fluorescent in situ hybridization. What are the applications of fish? Number one, we can detect gene deletion. So a case of Gridu-Chat syndrome can be asked where we know that there is a 5P deletion or a case of gene amplification can be asked. Any structural abnormality. So you can see what is a structural abnormality here. It is a translocation. So any structural abnormalities like translocations, isochromosome, ring chromosome, if a scenario is asked, it is the technicus fish. Then numerical abnormalities like trisomy or monosomy. So this, you know, this is a trisomy. Then another use of fish is to locate the gene to the correct chromosomal locus. Then if you get an image like this, what is this? This is also a fish, but this fish is different. It is an interface fish. So if the chromosome 21 is colored in red, it means that the abnormality here is trisomy 21. So our advantage of fish is we can use a non-dividing cells. We don't have to culture the cells and the detection limit is more in the case of interface fish and the time we can get the result uh, very fast so fast results these are the advantages of fish so that's about fish stay blessed stay happy and stay connected and follow for more bye bye